up it's your girl girl with Khalees, and we are back with another video what's up my girl books how are you guys doing today so today we have some spaghetti and some fried fish and i got some real good news for y'all today i got some real good news <laughs> Okay, but without further ado, let's say y'all grace and let's get it in. Heavenly Father, thank you for this food that I'm about to receive, Lord God. Bless the hands that prepared it. Let it be nourishing to our bodies. And Lord God, please bless those without food. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. Y'all, when I tell y'all your girl been missing, I'm so sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> Oh, save it. I'm going to go up this hill to save my marriage. Yes, y'all went up the hill to save Going up this mountain to save my marriage. Save my marriage. Okay, but y'all know what I'm talking about. Let's take these glasses off. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Sis been rocking the real hair lately. Um, But yes, y'all, let's get into this spaghetti because I'm not trying to have a cold. And ooh, we have some margarita fill. Okay, so we just gonna have this in a cut. Uh, they ain't paying me some. <laughs> hey, y'all know what today is. We have some Bacardi Yardi Yardi. And um, yes, we gonna take a couple of shots because I didn't even celebrate a thousand subscribers with you guys. I'm sorry, but here's to a thousand subscribers, baby. That's a little bit too much. <laughs> I'm sorry for the toilet. I'm so sorry. The toilet that keep going off. Lord have mercy. Lord, give me strength. Huh, <sighs> y'all know who in the bathroom. Ah! When they come in from work, no a child, have mercy, please. Cheers to a thousand subscribers. I love y'all. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. Ooh, we that's actually really good. This is the Bacardi Mango Chili. It's good. You can get it from Benny's. Um, I believe that's like something new that they got nowadays. Yeah, yeah. Man, this is just like a four, little four percent. We gonna get it turned. We gonna get it turned. But that's really sweet. Be careful with that. This is just like a little margarita pop, you know. So, uh, excuse me. So yes, y'all. Oh my God. Oh, I made some spaghetti and some fries. You better get you some. You better get you some before it's too late. Nah. All right. Mm. 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 Yes, y'all. I seen this girl on TikTok. She eat with her boyfriend. She cooks. She do her TikToks with her boyfriend and stuff like that. And they are so cute. Having feast tonight. Y'all heard it. Mm. If it's lopsided, please don't. Y'all know I prop the food up for y'all in the air. Y'all know I take it down. Mm. How did y'all like the family barbecue? Y'all, I have a new family. X out my old family, put my new family in. <laughs> Your love is. <laughs> Oh my god, I really hope you guys enjoyed that vlog. Cause it was so fun making it. A lot of good energy, a lot of good vibes. I was actually glad to see everybody. Hey, if y'all watching me, I have the y'all cousin, godson, whoever the hell he is to y'all. Oh my god, he pissing me off. He dropping shit in the bathroom. I'm trying to, I'm trying to engage with y'all. He distracted me. Anyway. Yes, honey. Mmm, that spaghetti so good, y'all. Oh my god. Mmm. And it's not beef. It's turkey. So y'all know we trying to eat a little healthier. Yes, honey. Mmm. Mmm. But I've seen the lady. On TikTok, and she has some fried fish and spaghetti. I was just like, I really want that. I really want that. I'm just like, lucky. <laughs> we even a good job. Oh my God, y'all, so much been going on. The title of this video is called My Life Update. Okay. 
So I am back in school for cybersecurity. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I will show my acceptance letter here at Southern New Hampshire University. What made me choose to go there? I'll tell y'all in the next video. But one of the reasons is because it's a flexible schedule. I can go in and watch the lectures. They're pre-recorded for my degree. And sometimes there's gonna be live lectures, but if I miss it, no, there's gonna be live lectures all the time. Um, But if I miss it, it's gonna be pre-recorded. So that I can go back, watch my lesson, and then, you know, do my schoolwork. Mm. Mm -hmm. and as you guys know the trip is approaching Yay! the trip is approaching and we are so excited do you guys have any plans for the summer like what do you guys what do you guys look forward to doing in the summer besides getting fucked up and just like doing dumb shit like I actually like to be productive in the summer, but ever since my weight gain, I've been less and less productive. More, I should say, like ever since I got a car, I felt like I was, I felt like I've been less productive than I normally am. It's true, y'all. When you get a car, baby. <laughs> Walk with a bitch. <laughs> Walk with a bitch. Who <laughs> walking? It ain't me. I don't give a fuck if it's up the street. I don't give a fuck if it's around the corner, bitch. Who walking? <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> and the bitch don't even know me. For real. Crazy. Mm. Mm. Comment down below if you think spaghetti is a side dish or a main dish. Y'all, like, don't judge me, but I'm really forcing myself to eat right now. Y'all, y'all, I know y'all see the weight loss. Y'all see it. Y'all saw it in a neck and neck and neck. <laughs> Sis heck and smile. Smaller. Okay. And I'm really not supposed to be eating at 10 p.m. right now. But I had to say what's up to y'all because I miss y'all so, so much. Like, y'all just don't know. I feel like I've been vlogging a lot and I feel like you know, there's issues and topics that I want to share with you guys, that I want to talk to you guys about, that I just want to get into. Uh, mm. Damn! Damn! See? Early burp. That's how you know. No, you get your women. I'm going to quit. But no, I have been on this weight loss medication called Victosa. And um, it's been helping me. I don't have diabetes or anything like that, but it's definitely been helping me lose weight. But you know, like the old Zimpic and stuff like that, that help with weight loss and stuff. Y'all know. Mm. And so I've literally just been doing that and it's literally been shedding pounds off Curbing my appetite. Mm. You know, this spaghetti is absolutely perfect. I normally put cheese in the sauce and stuff like that. Overdo it all the time. But this is just a basic meaty sauce. And I love it. I'm here for it. I wish these were squash noodles, though, so I wouldn't feel so bad for eating starch at 10 p.m. Y'all, eating healthy, minimalizing your eating is very important. And I'm really going to strive. And y'all, I'm really striving to cut meat out my diet. Um, I'm really striving, striving to cut fish out my diet. I'm really striving for it all. Like, seriously, y'all, like, because... Meat is not good for your body at all. Um, I noticed a complete difference when I started putting meat back, excuse me, in my diet. Mm -hmm. Excuse me, see, I'm burping. 
But yes, I noticed a significant difference when I started putting meat back in my diet so far as my mental health, so far as, you know, like really like how I felt on a daily basis, how I think. Um, I feel like I have been more negatively impacted mentally um, with putting meat back in my diet. Um, you know, and you know, I am weighing out the differences because you guys know I went about almost 20 days, 15 days without meat on a raw fruits and vegetable fast. And let me tell you something, it's not hard if you put your mind to it. Seriously, I was in the process. I feel like I did it at the wrong time um, with me saving for the trip. Um, and everything like that doing that type of diet is not that expensive really if you could just really sit your ass down and eat a watermelon or something like that for dinner buy a whole entire that's like the atheist burp um yeah if you could just sit your butt down and eat like a watermelon and a cantaloupe for dinner and stuff like that you'll be a -L -A -L -A. um you know but if you are more of a savory person and you just have to feel like you're eating a dinner honey um yeah you gonna sit some coin baby and you can't cook you can't cook or nothing it's just raw fruits and vegetable and let me tell you something i felt the greatest i've ever felt doing that moving on moving on cyber security my cyber security journey i am going to be documenting everything you guys are going to know the raw and uncut truth about a degree you are guys you guys are going to know my struggles my downfalls like how was it like being working full time and going to school online you know full-time or am I part-time I don't know but it's a really good university it's in New Hampshire um their online school holds hell away I was so happy when I got excited um you know I'm just I'm in a place in my life where I'm 24 years old and it's never too late like I'm still young as fuck like it's never too late to do anything you want to do with your life or if you have interest in hell i don't give a fuck if i'm 50 if i feel like i want to go to school to try to do something then that's what i'm gonna do but it is what it is but in all reality america's system is fucked school is a big ass scam but we all gotta do what the fuck we gotta do in order to make it in this system unfortunately and y'all gonna know my views and my take about everything cleopatra everything cleopatra was greek she was greek you know what she did she owned us us god's greatest creation god's fruitfulest creation <laughs> Hold on, cause y'all, I'm finna, I'm finna get in it. Hold on. <laughs> she had us enslaved. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, it's just annoying. You know, you got people like, oh, Egypt is a part of Africa. She was Africa. Y'all just want to change history like y'all did everything else. You know what? Unfortunately, the bitch was Greek. And she had us enslaved. And you know what? Unfortunately, with all the bloodshed that they have caused on us, God's chosen children, don't ever forget there are 12 tribes of Israel and we, we're the tribe of Judah. We're God's tribe. We're Jesus' tribe. Don't ever forget that. Don't ever forget who you are. Don't ever forget where you come from seriously like this is real like we are getting down to the wire like god is gonna come back he is and you need to make sure you have your life in order you need to make sure you do what you gotta do you need to pick a side at this point because they are going to try to kill us they're already trying to kill us they know who we are they know who we are our skin alone <laughs> makes up particles of the black hole people from chile 
people, Native American. Those are all our sisters and brothers, Mexicans, all our sisters and brothers, Bahamas. Every, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a put those twelve tribes up. I'm gonna put those twelve tribes up. Y'all don't ever forget it. We are the light of the world, the salt of the earth. Don't you ever forget that shit. And no matter how much they tried to oppress us, always overcame. So they can't do nothing with us. They're gonna try. They're gonna try to do a lot of things. Bill Gates is buying up the farmland. Make sure you get your seeds. Make sure you put them to the side so you can be able to harvest your own food for what they are about to do. <laughs> I'm not trying to scare y'all. Like, I'm not trying to scare y'all, but it's going to get real out here. And we are going to have to turn to God. Look at me. We are going to have to turn to God. And we are going to be put to death by God. Jesus Christ, our Lord and our Savior, his father. That if we do not get our shit together and we get in that fucking wilderness and we're like, I want a burger. Cut it's over with you know like you have to begin to trust him you have to begin to put him first you have to begin to trust him daily bread you have to know that he's going to provide for you you have to know that he's going to do those things because it's coming famine is coming guys make sure you're storing your food make sure you are doing what you need to do so you can survive And I'm not sugarcoating it. I'm not sugarcoating it. I'm not sugarcoating it. It's like we in the Matrix and everybody on autopilot. What they did to us for hundreds and thousands of years. They haven't did for hundreds of thousands of years. But you know what I'm saying. You know. I don't even know that. That's a fact. Just, just listen. Get yourselves together. Food, seek, seek shelter. It could be a world war at any day now. Like, seriously, like, this is a warning. This is a warning. Get yourselves together. Figure out what side you want to be on. Don't be a Gentile. Don't be lukewarm. And change your life. Because it's coming. It's coming. And, you know, it's, it's so hard think about you know it's like it's like like you know and nobody wants to listen nobody you know nobody wants to listen nobody wants to do any of that but certain people are called certain people aren't and um, i'm gonna use my platform i don't care This fish is really good, but we need to do away with meat for a little while. We need to be able to put down the processed foods. We need to be able to make ourselves conscious enough to realize what's going on around us. Because think about it, with all the processed foods they're pumping into your body, your blood, your veins, your I need your gland, your mind, your heart, your spirit, whatever you believe in. Think about how unconscious is making your mental being. Think about it. I'll tell y'all this. For the first time since I lived in my house two years, it took a raw fruits and vegetable fast for me to actually hear the birds chirping in the freaking morning. And I always thought to myself, not not even just be real with y'all, not not even like thinking to myself. I was just trying to notice different things about life, about everything, just like noticing change. I was trying to notice the change. And I noticed that I was able to hear more clearly. I was able to think more clearly. I was able to do a lot of things without meat in my system. And it's the way we're trained. It's the way we're raised. And I'm sitting here with a plate of meat in front of y'all. Hypocritical. But I did it. I went on that raw fruits and vegetable fast. Fruits for only 15 days. And I tell you, I'm doing it again. And I'm going to try to make it permanent. 
it makes a hell of a difference. Going raw vegan, y'all. Y'all. It's a beautiful thing. It's a beautiful thing. I am about to get off here. I just want to share some love, share some light with you guys. Um, I'm about to go spend time with my husband. No, my boyfriend. Okay, because y'all see. <laughs> And even that, you don't even need a ring to be married. That's just something people idolize. And we're going to get into all of that, okay? Because ain't nobody keeping it real with y'all. Ain't nobody, ain't nobody telling y'all the truth. Ain't nobody doing none of that. But I'm going to try my best to keep it real with y'all and try my best to walk my truth. If you have not liked, comment, or subscribe, make sure you do that below. And I'm going to leave my... Social media links at the bottom. If you want to give me a follow on social media, you can. If not, just watch my videos and love me. I don't care. But I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.